testing one hundred dollars testing two hundred dollars okay I have a breakdown of what I'm working on now I call this I am so happy I've got seven hundred uh, saved up three hundred dollars in January brings that to a total of one thousand saved up a great way to start the new year off so how did I get here I started with the every dollar budget app then making my cash envelopes with the giving housing food household transportation budget account debt snowball lifestyle miscellaneous and savings and I'm starting the 52 weeks challenge I use the 52 weeks with an S challenge app and I divide my income into regular bills and frills and then I save up three months of the regular bills so that I can um, save my income coming in and then my frills that has to be only two hundred and fifty dollars max anything for birthdays lifestyle weddings graduation subscriptions other uh, even extra food items that's called frills and it can't max out over two hundred and fifty dollars and then I put my regular bills down to the bare minimums save three months worth in advance so that I will be able to save my whole uh, income or a large part of it maybe eighty percent so that's how I do it and then I stock up try to have a tenant use monthly notebooks every month should have its own notebook in this case I might just use this whole notebook for two or three months or a quarter and then get a new notebook for the next quarter and then have a budget book that you list everything that's paid for that month which is also going to be on the every dollar budget so it takes a lot of time but you know where every dollar goes now as far as credit cards I pay two days before it's due I wait till the due date then on the sixth day after the due date I max it out but then like I said two days before it's due I pay it off again and that way I repeat that brings up your credit score you can get a credit increase which is a line of credit but you don't use the credit cards for anything except for necessities so I make sure that I have enough for my regular bills down to the uh, bare minimum times three so I'm saving three months worth of expenses so once my income comes in I've already paid those uh, expenses and then like I said frills cannot go over $250 in one month you have to try to all you don't do this month you try to do on another month but it cannot exceed two hundred and fifty dollars that's the um, 250 rule so that's how I'm able to do it uh, I'm working on the, like I said the 52 week challenge and uh, so I have a thousand dollars that may bring me all the way down to March I'm not sure I have to look on the app and then um, that's how I'm able to come up with 27560 at the end of the year, I'm hoping, using the 52-week challenge. So these are savings. And the debt snowball is really paying some debts, I believe, um, because I'm really concentrating on this 52-week challenge. And once I, it reaches a certain amount, then I can always take care of any debt if I have to. But that gives me a chance to save up also as I'm paying down the debt. And then uh, I'm more financially secure. But I have to separate the bills into regular or frills. That's what I'm doing. And then saving three months worth so that when income does come in, that could, be, that could go to the bank. So like I said, I am so happy. <laughs>
Praise the Lord. And there was a scripture I read. It said, money pouring in. Is what the scripture uh, was saying. And then I came up with this 52-week challenge uh, app. So God bless you. Run and get your bills paid. And um, you can like or subscribe below. Thank you. Bye.